Members of the public get a chance to voice their thoughts about a new Madison police chief. Among them, a former chief himself. Hear what he has to say coming up. The search for a new chief started when former Chief Noble Ray announced his retirement. Good evening, I'm Eric Franke. And I'm Michelle Lee. First tonight, Chief Ray's last day was late last month. Assistant Chief Randy Gaber has temporarily taken over while a new chief is chosen. The Police and Fire Commission says the selection process should be wrapped up by early next year. But first, the group is getting feedback from the department experts and the public. New at 10, people share their opinions tonight on what kind of leader they want to see. The night team's Danica Lewis brings us to that meeting. Well, one of those people used to hold the department's top spot among the many pieces of advice that he had for the Police and Fire Commission as the members go through this process was simply good luck. MPD has been going in the wrong direction. Words may be the way to correct the course or keep the department going strong. The new chief needs to be from within the force. Either way, there was no shortage of suggestions about Madison's future police chief. I'm not using his name, but I'm just going to put it out there for you. There wasn't much name dropping, except... David Cooper was police chief. I remember when police chief uh, Cooper was the chief. Former police chief David Cooper was such an officer. I would like to see somebody like that this guy David Cooper we are to be the best city police department in America Cooper led Madison's department for decades and like his name some topics seem to echo in the central library they shouldn't be the last resort to kill people the standard for using deadly force in this community is unacceptable to the community they need to talk about how deadly force is being being used and I think that's a major, and I think that that has eroded a certain level of trust in the community. That trust, also a common theme. Over the last year, I can say that that confidence and my trust has um, deeply shaken. Cooper says changes in leadership could mean changes in training to bring public opinion of police more toward peace. Oh, this is probably the biggest decision that they'll make in their public careers. Bar none. Now a pastor, Cooper offered his advice, but most of all, his blessing. Good luck and Godspeed. Godspeed indeed. Also a good bit of talk tonight about officers having solid connections with neighbors. As Michelle mentioned, the PFC plans to collect input through this month from the public, experts, and the department itself through a questionnaire. The group plans to have a new permanent chief by early next year. And something we will continue to follow until then. Danica, thank you.